Hodge has gone for goal! Oh, it's a stunner. That is a beautiful finish. And for the third time this season, Scratchett makes no mistake against his former employees. Will it turn? Good enough to challenge. Oh, and he was just caught on the way. Zyphon needs to react as well. Chance right before the end of the first half goes Gelong's way and they get a corner from this. Hello guys and welcome back to another episode of SPL Social with me, Ash from Footballita. It's all about the Singapore Premier League. And today, finally guys, we are joined by Haogang United after a long wait. Thanks, thank you so much. We have, of course, Zyphon Nizam, the short stopper, and also Christian Krijek as well. Thank you so much guys for joining me today. All right, I want to ask you all, like, you know, how are you feeling about the season? Christian, maybe I'll start with you first. Well, the season didn't start. First of all, thank you for uh, bringing us here. Uh, the season didn't start so well. We were uh, losing so many games, but it was the, the same last season and we finished really well. So hopefully this season we can do it again. But now I feel like we are getting connection and uh, people are, players are really really starting to play well, so I think in future Hagan will look even better. Zaifu, for yourself, are you happy with the season? Uh, this, this, this will be your first season with Haogang, right? Yeah, uh, for a start, I think it's a bit tough for me, you know? I uh, need to really adjust to the system, you know? Uh, and things are don't, don't really go well for the starting of the season, so... Uh, it's a bit... Difficult moment uh, for the time being, but uh, I think the early uh, when we got like seven games, no winning streak or nothing, you know, it's got quite tough as a player, you know, to get the confidence back, to get the momentum going, you know, to build again as a team, you know. So once we start to win, then we start to feel good. And it's all about building again, Christian. You know, you mentioned as well, beginning of the season, you know, a lot of changes. Did that affect the team in, in any way? Of course, I think uh, the season, the, the, the last season, the players, we, we finished the season, we won the cup, it's not the same team, you know. We had so many changes, maybe 10 players changed, we, we bring uh, maybe 10 new players and it's not the same team. You need to start from the zero and then you need some time. I, I would say two, three months to build a team is not enough. We had a few serious injuries in the start, Shadan, then uh, I got injured, then Zul got injured. And with uh, key players like that, uh, it's not the same team. But I think the most important is to have that connection. I think after six, seven months, you can, you can get that. But before that, it's very hard. So, I mean, there were injuries and also there was a change in coaching staff as well. Um, Zaifu, did that impact, you know, the, the team in any way? Uh, I think, to be fair, uh, both of the coaches have their own style of playing style, you know, uh, their own philosophy. So we as a players, we just follow on what we are supposed to do, you know. Sometimes this is football, you know, you, uh, both coaches is good, but sometimes result doesn't come, means doesn't come, you know. But sometimes the luck is on our side, means result will be there, result will be there. So that's about it, you know. Football is just a, a, a funny sport, you know, sometimes, yeah. Yeah, you will go some, sometimes out of nowhere, you will be some on top of the table then and then the next moment you can be on a losing streak for like straight seven games. Well, you, so, uh, you, know, it's quite... you know what, I've uh, been looking at your stats, both of you guys, especially Kiki, you know, you've got 62 shots this season and I believe uh, 30 shots on target as well. One of the, you know, top players as well this season. So are you, are you happy with your performance uh, for Haogang? Or do you think you could be doing better? I do really shot a lot, but, uh, but I'm not happy with uh, how many goals I scored. I, I think I could do much, much better. But this, this season is very strange for me. I, uh, I got two, two injuries in the start of the season. I break my arm, I, I, I cut my, my forehead, I, I got two surgeries. Now I'm struggling with uh, my uh, heel, so it's very strange for me. I'm not full, but still I, I, can, I can play. So. I'm happy that I'm playing, but I think I can do a lot better. 
And um, so, you know, we spoke to your physios as well in another episode, right? How important are your physios for, for both of you, um, the physio team that works with you guys? Uh, yeah, for me, I feel uh, it's a must, you know, it's a, you must have uh, someone that really to give us a good advice. Uh, you know, as a player, sometimes we don't know our, I mean, we can know our body, but uh, whether we can push to the extent or we, are, we, can, we can't push, you know. The advice from the physio in detail is much more important, you know. So then from where, from there, then we can actually doing the injury prevention. Injury prevention. Okay, I just want to ask you guys, you know, you spoke about the challenges that you guys face this season, but I want to talk about what's special. Um, Kiki, you know, you playing for Haugang, what do you like about playing for, for this club? Well, first thing I can remember is after the game, we go all in the circle, we hug each other and we have a, a talk and then we have our one for all for one. It's, it's very special, you know, it means that no one is alone. If you are playing badly or something, uh, players or, or coaches are always there for you. I remember my first year in Haugan, maybe six, seven months in the season, I didn't have one goal, one assist, I was struggling. But no one, no one uh, put pressure on me. They, I, I felt like uh, they are all waiting for me. And then, in the end of the season, I, I delivered, and I was very happy that they didn't put pressure on me. So, for me, it's very special to have uh, also the fans, and, and, and it's like a family. Like a family. Um, and Zaifu, for yourself as well. You know, you you come in, and then there's the fans as well. But what's yeah. special for you? What made you? Like want to play for Haugang? Uh, definitely, you know, Haugang is a team that always want to compete for title, you know. It's not going to uh, sit down, you know, doing things, you know. Uh, they always, for me, when I was with, last time, Balestia, I was with Gilang uh, the past, last year, I always watch that like, Haugang is always the team that they always try to beat something to get for winning a championship, you know. They always, they are very, very competitive. So I want, actually, before I end my career, you know, I want to go to like to where's the place that going to give everything, yeah, for the players, you know, competitive, you know, try to win championship, try to go in the Champions League or AFC, you know, the least, yeah. So for me, this is the team that I look on uh, from from the start, uh, you know. You know, that's com competitive as well. But speaking of competition, Kristen, I want to ask you as a foreign player in the SPL, right? I mean. Do you um, face, you, you mentioned pressure as well, but do you face any other challenges, you know, playing in this league? You always feel that you've got to, you know, perform? <laughs> yeah, of course. I, I mean, if you are a foreigner in SPL, uh, people uh, expect from you to deliver. Yeah. But it's a good, it's a good to have that because it pushes you to become better, to, to, to focus on your hard work and, and to deliver. So I think it's good to have that pressure. Good to have the pressure, yeah. Let's talk a little bit about you know the the players you know in the SPL who have you know impressed you since we're already at the tail end of the season. Zaiful, and I'm sure you've you've played against some short stoppers or good strikers. Any anyone who's impressed you from other clubs? Yeah, I think individually, I mean a lot I mean yeah, based on like everyday sailors, Tampanese, you know, Balestier, uh, Gilang. You know, they they always have that one man or two men that really. Uh, a threat to for me uh, as a short, short stopper, you know. Uh, so there's a few lah, uh, like for Gilang, Yushi, Yamaya, you know. For sailors, you have like Max, you have Diego, yeah. Uh, Balestier, they have the trio like uh, Jambu, uh, Tanaguchi, and Masa. Yeah. So it's quite a threat. So I mean, like they always have something in them. Uh. And fire. Kiki, yeah. for yourself, any. You know, uh, I would you? mention uh, Asahi Yokohawa ah. from uh, from uh, Albrex. Yeah. yeah, he's. I think he's also a captain of yes, the team. Captain. He's very young, but he's very like a senior player. Mm. He's very very good player. I I, I couldn't do anything uh, when I faced <laughs> him. So that game I couldn't do anything. So he he even scored the goal yep. as a right right back. So I was really really impressed by him. And also, only to, like you mentioned, only 21 years yeah, old. Yeah, 21. A very, very bright uh, future. Like, and guys, I want to ask you as well. I mean, Zaifu, especially, you know, you're one of the veterans of the Singapore football uh, goalkeeping scene, right? So I want to ask you, honest, um, you know, like an honest truth. What do you think about the future of goalkeepers here in Singapore? Uh, do we have like a, a, a line of, of talent coming through? 
Yeah, to be honest, yeah, I think we we do have lah. You know, we have like Zafan, we have Shazwan, uh, then upcoming we have like uh, Aizil from Young Lion. You know, yeah. We actually we have lah. Yeah, but end of the day is you know they they have to make their own step up. You know, uh, they need to be something special. You know, they need to be. Special to to make sure everyone knows that they have the national national team quality, you know, yeah. and they will be for Singapore number one sooner or later. Yeah. Speaking of Singapore quality, what would you like to see from the future of Singapore football? Uh, definitely, I want. I mean, like, okay, I can, uh, should be more interest in our Singapore football. Uh, so kids will be around in the Singapore to play football. You know, they they will be interested in our football. You know. Hopefully, some good changes, you know, that really impress this young boy. Not only the the boys, but the parents also. Parents yeah. Well, yeah. So maybe we can do something that to bring everyone in together, you know. So hopefully, if we have more players, then we have the more quality of choice for us to choose, you know, for our future. Yeah. Kristen, you've been here a few years now already. So what what do you think makes you? What about Singapore? Do you like, you know, the food maybe? <laughs> Um, I like I like a lot about Singapore, especially the weather. I don't like I don't like cold weather, so I enjoy cold weather actually. And then uh, I like the food. <laughs> you don't like? Yeah, I surprised that yeah. uh, for foreign for, for foreign like you don't like cold. <laughs> no, I really enjoy cold cold weather all year long. So summer, I, yeah. I'm at home in slippers like holiday. <laughs> like I'm on holiday for full year. Then I like the food really. I, I enjoy the um, culture of, of going to food courts, uh, hockey center. I first thing in the morning when I go to Jalan Besar Stadium, I get my kopio kosong. <laughs> then after training, I get my kaya toast with egg. Wow! Then, uh, Kiki is a Singaporean. Yeah, sometimes I get. Uh, locally. I, I, I don't get why, why why foreigners don't like durian. I I, I really you enjoy. Like durian. It. I, 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 I enjoy. It. Do you like durians? Like yeah, 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 okay. yeah. I enjoy durian. It's very very tasty. Any any other uh, local delicacy do you like? Popia. <laughs> <laughs> First year when I came to Singapore, I was um, on vegetarian diet, and I I was surprised how many vegetarian options yes, there are. And options, so popia yeah. was one, 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 my favorite. Popia. Wow, really like popia, durian. <laughs> anything else? Kopio, kosong, rice. Anything with the rice? No? Yeah, rice. I enjoy rice. Uh, I, I I never knew about rice cooker, but <laughs> when, I, when I came to Singapore, my rice cooker is full all day. <laughs> that, is, that is so good. Yeah. Anyway, we don't have rice cooker in, yeah. in Croatia. Oh, no rice cooker. There's no, no rice, rice cooker in yeah, Croatia. I make business from rice cooker in Croatia. <laughs> wow, we learn something new every day. There are no rice cookers in Croatia, and Kiki is like a certified Singaporean. So guys, if you've got any suggestions. Please leave your messages for Kiki and let him know what he, what food he should try next. Please, please. But I'm sure he's tried it all. <laughs> okay, guys. You know, since we're at the end of the season, I'm sure that you know you guys are looking forward to the Singapore Cup. So, um, any you know goals that you all want to achieve with Haugang now that we are end of the season to repeat the the Singapore Cup win, maybe? Yeah, maybe. Um, we have a very strong team and we are playing better and better. And we are starting to get confidence and uh, enjoying our game. And I think, but we cannot focus on. on I think uh, every day you need yeah. to give your best, and uh, with a little bit of luck, uh, and you, you can have it. And for AFC Cup, I think it will be nice to have a goal to go through second second stage of the, of the competition. Second stage, yeah. yeah. And okay, guys. Um, I just want to ask you so before we go, right? Um, is there a common perception that people have about footballers or players that's not true, or like stereotypes? Anything, Zaifu? Like you want to share? Uh, <laughs> you know, we, 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 we can't we can't stop or say anything about like what people thinks about yeah. other footballers. Right? You know, things will be yeah, will be this will be that. You know, but end of the day. You, know? you don't care what people yeah, think. Yeah, you yeah, think yeah. Any perception? I think, uh, I think that's normal to have yeah. perception. Yeah. I think every, that's everybody have their own. But uh, I think uh, people think players are not not educated. Like they are just chasing the ball. But I think it's not true. I, I met so many uh, educated players who are who are. 
having that uh, uh, other part of their lives who are going to college, school, and having their own business. So I think players are uh, most of the players uh, speak uh, two or three langu languages. So I think that's not true. Yeah, we have a lot of smart players in the league as well because football is a thinking sport, right? It's not just kicking kicking the ball, right? Okay, guys, before we go, maybe from both of you, I just want to get a message to all the fans out there, for Haogang fans or maybe fans of SPL in general. So, Zaifu, for yourself, maybe? Okay, for Haogang Hoos, uh, thank you for coming to support us all this while, you know, being we are in the lowest point till now. Uh, you guys still give up the support, you know. Uh, we as a players really appreciate uh, for the effort you have put in and to the rest of them please keep continue to support the local football alright so without you we are nothing alright alright nice words Zaifu Kiki for yourself for our Haug and Hulls thank you for supporting us it means a lot you are giving us wings and uh, for the other other supporters of SPL uh, please come and watch uh, SPL there are so many many quality players and you will you will uh, enjoy our games. And you guys can bring him a rice cooker as well after the game. Though. I'm sure that he'll be more than happy. Yeah, we can go makan after the game. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much, Kiki and, and Zaipu as well for joining me. This is a very fun episode to know a little bit more about Haogang United. My first of all, the SPL, don't forget to follow us here. And also, my name is Ashna Futbolita. I'll see you guys next time.